Hi everyone, today I will show you the sample of object tracking use tracker API from OpenCV external library so to get this library we have to build a external library to get tracker API we needed. Too easy for you I already build one then you can easy download from Bello link under video description. OpenCV3 comes with a new tracking API that contains implementations of many single object tracking algorithms. There are six different trackers available in OpenCV 3.2 Boosting, MIL, KCF, TLD, Median Flow, and Godern. In the commented code below we first set up the tracker by choosing a tracker type Boosting, MIL, KCF, TLD, Median Flow, or Godern. Then we open a video and grab a frame and resize the video size what we needed. We define a bounding box containing the object for the first frame and initialize the tracker with the first frame and the bounding box. Finally, we read frames from the video and just update the tracker in a loop to obtain a new bounding box for the current frame. Results are subsequently displayed. So now I will start to try all tracking method for comparison. Boosting Tracker is based on an online version of AdaBoost the algorithm that the Har Cascade based face detector uses internally. This classifier needs to be trained at runtime with positive and negative examples of the object. The initial bounding box supplied by the user, or by another object detection algorithm, is taken as the positive example for the object, and many image patches outside the bounding box are treated as the background. Given a new frame, the classifier is run on every pixel in the neighborhood of the previous location and the score of the classifier is recorded. The new location of the object is the one where the score is maximum. So now we have one more positive example for the classifier. As more frames come in, the classifier is updated with this additional data. Mill Tracker This tracker is similar in idea to the boosting tracker described above. The big difference is that instead of considering only the current location of the object as a positive example, it looks in a small neighborhood around the current location to generate several potential positive examples. You may be thinking that it is a bad idea because in most of these positive examples the object is not centered. This is where multiple instance learning mil, comes to rescue. In MIL, you do not specify positive and negative examples, but positive and negative bags. The collection of images in the positive bag are not all positive examples. Instead, only one image in the positive bag needs to be a positive example. In our example, a positive bag contains the patch centered on the current location of the object and also patches in a small neighborhood around it. Even if the current location of the tracked object is not accurate, when samples from the neighborhood of the current location are put in the positive bag, there is a good chance that this bag contains at least one image in which the object is nicely centered. MIL project page has more information for people who like to dig deeper into the inner workings of the MIL tracker. KFC stands for Kernelized Correlation Filters. This tracker builds on the ideas presented in the previous two trackers. This tracker utilizes that fact that the multiple positive samples used in the MIL tracker have large overlapping regions. This overlapping data leads to some nice mathematical properties that is exploited by this tracker to make tracking faster and more accurate at the same time. TLD stands for Tracking, Learning, and Detection. As the name suggests, this tracker decomposes the long-term tracking task into three components, short-term, tracking, learning, and detection. From the author's paper, the tracker follows the object from frame to frame. The detector localizes all appearances that have been observed so far and corrects the tracker if necessary. 
The learning estimates detectors errors and updates it to avoid these errors in the future. This output of this tracker tends to jump around a bit. For example, if you are tracking a pedestrian and there are other pedestrians in the scene, this tracker can sometimes temporarily track a different pedestrian than the one you intended to track. On the positive side, this track appears to track an object over a larger scale, motion, and occlusion. If you have a video sequence where the object is hidden behind another object, this tracker may be a good choice. Median Flow Tracker Internally, this tracker tracks the object in both forward and backward directions in time and measures the discrepancies between these two trajectories. Minimizing this forward-backward error enables them to reliably detect tracking failures and select reliable trajectories in video sequences. In my tests, I found this tracker works best when the motion is predictable and small. Unlike other trackers that keep going even when the tracking has clearly failed, this tracker knows when the tracking has failed.